Alright, so you guys guessed it. We're gonna play Legend of Zelda. Because I love Legend of Zelda. Even the the first one. Um, so, the second name. Um, well, it was... Uh, it was a problem. Um, the first one is from a long, long time ago, apparently. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna do my best to register a new name. We're gonna make it Spud, because it's Spud's Games, because that makes sense. Yeah. So just name Spud. Um, and just register him. Equip him. Um, we're gonna go up here and grab the sword. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you very kind, old man. Now if I could only grab that. There we go. Um, so basically, this is a lot like the Master Sword, um, even though it's not the Master Sword in this game, because when you have full health, it shoots the beam. Um, that's really the only reason it is. You can upgrade your sword a little bit later, not much, um, but an upgrade's an upgrade, so. Um, and the first item that I want to get, that you can get inside an item shop if I go up, um, which I'll show you guys in a second is actually uh, a shield that I could use. Um, I did not mean to do that, but that's okay. I'll just go this way. Actually, a shield that I can use, and I can show you that that item now, or as soon as I'm done killing these things. No, go away. We're not friends. Don't don't hit me. Ally, now I have to chase them. That's why I like the beam sword. So they're up here, the 160 rupee shield, that's the one that I would get. Um, just because you see how he has the shield in front of him, because um, if you're facing a creature or monster, whatever you want to call them, it reflects their projectile that they throw at you, and that comes in a lot of handy later, especially with Octoroks who like to throw rocks at you. Ow. Yippee. And Right now, that's also the only way to get rupees, is by killing things, so... Alright, 